Hey, thanks. Welcome back. I'm your host, Johnny Freeborn. You're watching Central Valley Business. And our next segment, we have Charles Montoya. He's with RealStream. Hello. Did I say your last name right? Uh, you know what? It's, it's fine. Uh, it's... You know, we may have had the wrong detail. It's a Spanish know. last name. Everyone's going to say it differently. Montoya. Montoya. Hello. Okay. Did my, I get it my name second? is Charles Montoya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get that a lot. But. So, RealStream. Yes. Tell me about it. RealStream. It is a uh, video production company on the internet. Um, it's based off of, for right now, predominantly YouTube, but we do have a website called RealStream.co. Mm -hmm. um, for the past uh, five years, my company and I, we've been filming videos on YouTube and about two years ago we started our very first um, web series called Roomies and mm -hmm. what Roomies is is it's a web it's um, it, it's about people who are roommates you know in, in today's society you got to live with you got to put out an ad on Craigslist and sometimes you're not going to get the most uh, uh, normal people right. to answer your ad, and that's kind of what this is. These people are all very weird. Um, Fascinating. One, yeah, one of them is is like this real like hardline health nut. Another guy is just this guy who's very particular about things, kind of bossy. You know, another the odd couple. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, and there's several different yeah. people living in this house. Um, oh, okay. One of them is uh, he's kind of a mute. He doesn't talk. He's at his computer all the time playing video games and. He communicates to people by through text messaging. Um, yeah, it's it's a very hu yeah very humorous show um, that we've that we've created. A lot of people really enjoy it. Um, I was hoping to get a to get a clip to show you guys. Um, a Do we have that clip of, yet? Not yet. We'll, okay, we'll All get right. that. We'll pull it up. Um, so basically. How how do you do a production like that in Fresno? You're you're local here, correct? Yeah, everything is completely local. Um, one of the things that that I've done is I for this I just first I put uh, an ad out in Craigslist, just like hey, I need, I'm looking for actors, you know, uh, to come in, film a film a video, and then I also had some friends that that I knew. Um, in fact, I think about yeah, three uh, three fifths of the cast were people that I knew that were just my friends mm -hmm. and. They came in, they filmed, and uh, I mean it's a very small crew. It was it was me, and then our our sound guys switched pretty much through every ever every other episode. We had a different guy running the sound, and I filmed, and wow. um, yeah, my friends acted, and you know what? They did an amazing job, a fantastic job, mm -hmm. and and even the new the two other people that we got on, um, they you know they were very good as well. And I mean it's a it's a very very good show. I thought we did a very good job casting it. Um, yeah, and you know, really what goes into that is you've got to find a location. Luckily for me, I was very fortunate that um, one of our actors was willing to allow us to film in his home. And so we filmed in his home um, for the first two seasons. And then, um, and then I also ha I had some camera gear and some sound equipment and, and you know, very, very low end um, budget stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but you're making it work. Yeah, we make we make uh, you got to make it work. I you're mean, resourceful for you, for that. I'm sure. It, absolutely, it causes you to kind of dig deep and and uh, be more creative. Oh, ab that. absolutely. Um, and and I, I like to think that we've done a fantastic job with the with the small materials that we've had. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, I would I would definitely put it up against you know something like The Big Bang Theory or something okay. uh, or Community things like you know shows that people watch yeah. on TV. Um, that's one of the reasons why I like filming um, for the internet because mm -hmm. what's great about the internet is there is no censorship. You know, there, no one's going to come in and tell me, "Oh, you can't, you can't film this." It's you a know, blank canvas. Yeah, it's I can, a... I can, I, I can really do whatever I want, and yeah. it really allows me and and my writers to just kind of sit there and go, "Okay, what do we want to do? What kind mm -hmm. of a show do we want to make?" And that's essentially what we did with Roomies. Is you know, we were like, we just. We sat down and we're like, okay, what would be a great idea? You know, where should we go from here? And you know, everyone just had, you know, my writers they had ideas. And um, I mean, I have a fantastic uh, group of writers. It's it's me and two other people. Uh, one one person who wrote most of Roomies is a woman by the name of Rashana Johnson, and she is a uh, she's actually a award winning actor or not actress, uh, award winning writer. Oh, okay. um, she's very good. Uh, ha does very good with our dialogue. Um, and then my other writer is uh, is a woman by the name of Heather Rule, who actually um, wrote a play that I was in about a year or two ago for the Rogue Festival here in Fresno. 
Um, yeah, she's fantastic. Uh, we're actually working together on another show that that we're going to begin production maybe next year. On. How exciting! What what uh, is the synopsis of that? Well, well, that that's a that's a little further down. Uh, that okay. uh, that right. show we is. We don't want to break the details. Yeah, not not too much. Okay. But All but right. there is a show that I'm coming up with that that I wrote, and that show is uh, a show called Alpha Males. Okay. Um, what Alpha Males essentially is is it is a show about this guy who's almost essentially trying to find his way in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one of the one of the things that that I feel as a millennial is okay. You, your entire life, you're told, okay, you got to go to college, you got to get a degree, you know, and then you got to get a job. And so, you know, we're told all this stuff, and we do, we get our degree, we do all this stuff, and then it's like, now what? Right. Now, now what do I do? And um, in the beginning of this series, the main character, um, his name is Edward Drake. He has this, you know, he's like, okay, what do I do? You know, I want to do something that fulfills me. Mm-hmm. I don't want to get a job at like Kinko's or, you know, FedEx or something like that. Right. I don't want to work at Subway. I want to do something that, you know, that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. And it's, um, it's a show about him, you know, trying to find out who he is. And, um, and, and uh, event, essentially he, uh, he actually opens up his own, um, like private security and, okay. And really, what this show is is I got inspiration for it from watching a show like uh, like Burn Notice. I don't know if you're familiar with that. I've seen it. I've, I've heard of it. Yeah, for for people who don't know, Burn Notice is about this guy who is this uh, secret ex secret agent spy, you know, and and stuff like like the A Team. And um, for me, I like those shows, but I've always wondered, you know, how did he get from from regular guy to like this hardcore like I can you know MacGyver my way out of any situation kind of a guy Mm -hmm. and that's kind of what this show is is it is it follows him as he you know he doesn't like join the military or anything like that he just has this idea and he's like all right we're gonna do it you know and and his best friend goes along with him on the ride Hmm. and I think a lot of times we're kind of like that yeah I mean and it's a different type of type of feel you get to see him you know make mistakes and yeah, and it's not perfect, and and you know he is in over his head at times, and mm-hmm. and it's it's a lot of fun. Now, what genre is this? Is this comedy as well, or uh, uh, this or is a different spin on it? This is more of a drama. A drama. Okay. Um, there's gonna be it's like a drama action type of thing. You know, there are gonna be comedic moments in it. Of course, um, yeah. Because that's just I feel like you know that makes things a little bit more grounded, a little bit more real. Right. Like, you know, I mean, if, if a guy, if you're in a situation, you know, a lot of times you watch a movie and, you know, guys like, all right, we're going to handle this kind of a thing, you know, uh, the main character of Alpha Males, he's probably going to be like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, okay, let's try this kind of a thing. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, are you casting for this right now? What? Um, you know what? We're going to begin casting in the next, uh, in the next month or so. Right. Um, one of the things that, that I want to do is I want to extend a cast, a casting call here in Fresno. Because I fully believe that there are a lot of actors here that um, that have the talent to do what it is that that I believe you know we want to attempt, mm-hmm. and I feel like um, I feel like you know a lot of because a lot of people you know they go to Hollywood they learn all the all the craft but for one reason or another they had to come back, right. you know I feel like the Central Valley in particular is filled with these uh, artistic refugees, if you will, you know, I mean, they're just, <laughs> I like that. yeah, they're just, you know, they, for whatever reason, they had to come back and they have all this talent inside of them. But once again, you know, they're working at like Red Robin or they're working at Kinko's or they're working at Home Depot and, you know, they're, but that's humbling. And I'm sure you get a more, much humbler actor, oh, humbler, if that's the word. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, a much more humble actor yeah. for sure. And, but what I want to do is I want to be able to give them the opportunity to to be able to pursue their dream, to be able to do what it is that they've, you know, that that builds them, that that ha- they have a passion for. And mm-hmm. to do this, I'm not I'm not ignorant. Like I'm not just going to be like, oh hey yeah, just just come and 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 do this thing. You know, quit your job and and do this or take time off your job. No, one of the things that I really want to do is I really want to be able to raise funds to provide for these guys to be able to give them Mm -hmm. something you know one thing that I've learned as especially as someone that that has worked in this sort of a field Mm -hmm. is getting thanks and um, 
and you know having the name put out you know that's not going to put food on your table right away you know yeah. people are people need more than that mm-hmm. you know they need more than just a promise they need to see you know real currency in their hand and that's why i want to create this uh that's why i've started a gofundme okay. which is um if you go on to gofundme.com and my and if you actually go onto our facebook page on real stream you'll find a link to our gofundme account um I'm looking to raise about ten thousand dollars to to do all this, mm-hmm. um, and really, what what I want to film is I want to film a pilot. You know, I don't want to, because an actual show is going to be much more expensive. Mm-hmm. But I want to I want to make a pilot. I want to show people. Okay, this is what this is almost like like, like it's like an hors d'oeuvre. This is a mm-hmm. this is the appetizer. You know, you're not going right. to get the main course right away, and that's going to be a little bit more. But you know, if you like the appetizer, if you like our you know bottomless fries or you know our you know Olive Garden breadsticks, then man. Whoa! Hey, watch it now. <laughs> Talking about all this food on me. I know. I know. Uh, it's lunchtime. It Everybody's is. ready. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, how do people so they can find you on GoFundMe just by your name, Real Stream? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. By by my name, I'm gonna have a. If you go on a Facebook and um, you type in Real Stream. And in the search engine, that'll bring up our page. And mm-hmm. on our page, you can get a link that will take us to take you to the GoFundMe account. And while you're on the page, please like our page. Um, we also have a YouTube channel, Real Stream. We have over 90 videos that we've made within the last five years. No kidding. Uh, wow. Yeah, and you know, and what's great about these videos is they're all short. You know, they're not. Wow. You know, you can sit down and you can watch. You know, it's just two minutes, and and you'll you'll laugh so hard. Um, awesome. Yeah, I look forward to checking it out. Yeah, um, definitely. So, real stream, and you are doing casting next month. How can people stay up to date on? Uh, um, if you, if you, if you, um, like I said, like us on Facebook. Um, go on to our website. We're gonna have new information um, uploaded daily. We're just gonna let you know. Hey, this is what's happening. Um, and for you know some of the things that we're gonna probably be doing, because I understand that a lot of people won't be able to make a casting call. Um, we're going to try to make ways where you can film yourself. Um, we're going to have a script available for you to download. You can look at it, you can go over it and then you can submit a video. And you know, I'm not saying this video has to be, you know, you have to go out and get like a a expensive camera. You can film it on your Mm -hmm. phone. You know, I just want to see, man, if you got what it takes, we want to cast you and we want to do this. And, um, and I truly believe, man, this is, this is going to be something that's great that people haven't really seen before. Okay. And but it'll be very relatable. I feel like, especially to people within um, within this particular, you know, within my age group, um, and even even older people, you know, will be able to kind of like relate to that, you know, pursuing your dream and pursuing something that makes you tick. Right. Absolutely. And and for you to be creative and doing what you're doing with very little resources, yeah, and, uh, that's that's applaudable. So thank you. Uh, well, thank you. Yeah. Do we have that video yet? Uh, no video. We couldn't find the video. Oh, so okay. Maybe well, next time. Maybe uh, next time. Hey, I hope to have you happens. back sometime because I, I really do want to keep up with the show, and uh, I hope you guys make sure and head over to the YouTube channel and like and subscribe. Yes. Uh, so thank you so much for coming on the show, no Charles. No problem. No problem. Thank you Very for having me. Very good to meet me. you. Yes. Thank All you, everybody. Right. We'll be right back.